Stacy Lane Wilson here for Horror.com and I am at the Shark Night 3D party where I got a chance to talk to the director David R. Ellis and also Kat McPhee, one of the actors in the film. I even rode the shark, believe it or not. Check out our video. Got in here. Maybe someone put them there. So they sent me the script. I read it. It had great characters, a great story, and so um, you know. And then I was blessed to get get an amazing cast. All the kids are really, really good in the, in the movie, and really did a lot of physical stuff, all their own stunts. And um, so I got a great script. I got a great cast, and I said, let's do it. Sometimes you'll see uh, large whales um, with kind of holes in their bodies, like wounds, and they're sharks that basically attack and they spin. Once they bite, they spin and make, they cut out holes in, in other animals. Sharks, 3D, lake, and people die. Yeah, we've been having this problem a lot. It's a very misleading title. Um, you would think it was a movie about sharks and 3D, but, uh, well, no, it is, in fact, a movie about sharks and 3Ds. I think what is great about the movie is that it's incredibly classic in a way. It's, uh, it's, it's not so much a throwback as a sort of reformulation of the classically spooky movie, low content of gore, shocking stuff, some really brutal stuff, but it's ultimately a really, it's almost like uh, you know, uh, in a horror movie that is really scary but in a way that they don't, they don't make them like that anymore. He's a great guy. He's such a cinephile and he really has a great filmic kind of um, enthusiasm. So I think, uh, you know, just, just kind of getting on board that um, is, is really, you know, infectious and, and, and fun to be around. I approach a lot of what I do visually and, and, uh, and, and like, I love moving cameras the way he loves moving cameras. It's much more of a classic style of making a movie. And, and so I think that there's just aut that automatic kinship. Like we both have a love of, of antiquated gears and stuff like that. So there's, like, there's just a lot of the same stuff that's you know, in both of our heads. Kim, who I play, uh, is important to me because she goes on this journey where she really becomes a mother. and. You know, I feel like she really comes into her own and she finds her strength and, and I, I think she's quite powerful. plays like it's a horror comedy and then the real fans you know the people who watch more realize it's just a comedy I mean it's really a comedy with gore and then I think I, I realized at the heart of it it's like it's like a bromance it's like a romantic comedy between me and Alan it's like these two guys are just like they love each, they love the shit out of each other but they don't know how to express it you know they're good old boys they don't quite know how to like just hug it out and say I love you man I don't really watch a lot of horror movies I, I get scared easy and I end up watching them like this and I, I just feel foolish I'll never tell, don't tell anybody I said that. Oh my God. Um, I just felt like it was time to stick up for the hillbillies, you know? I mean, they've been uh, depicted as like the slashing backwoods killers that like, if you're a college kid and you're hiking around in the middle of nowhere in Virginia, 
most likely one of these like hillbillies is going to slash you to pieces and like tie your you know stitch your face onto his it's great uh the, the fans are really coming out for it and uh the internet buzz this has been astonishing and uh every screening kind of it gets better and better your mom she didn't exactly say but uh, is a kind of neglect gives off a scent I did I really enjoyed it look I, I grew up you know with uh, a, a very real fondness for horror films and particularly for vampire films and vampire lore I'm one of many people who kind of falls under the spell of the whole idea of what it might be like to live that life um, and so to actually get the chance to play a vampire was it was just genius. It was just fun at the office. It really, really was. I loved it. I loved it. I got the script. I read it. I really enjoyed it. I watched the original. Loved it. I think it's a great film. And it works on so many levels. You know, uh, aside from just the genre, I think it's. A, I think it's a film really about genre, about that genre. I think it's a brilliant film. And I was. Uh, I never was on set. No. No. It's. He's like. Yeah. That's exactly. Yeah. It's like man. Steven Seagal. He doesn't do overs. He doesn't do anything. Yeah. When I first heard that they were going to be doing it, I thought, oh, well, this is interesting. You know, they tried a Fright Night 2, and, and while it was okay, it didn't quite work. And uh, then I read the script for this one, and I thought, oh, they figured it out. It's like film lovers, you know? Yeah. Passionate, passionate film lovers. It's great when people have that willingness of disbelief, and they can just, like, you know, go on the journey. If you were for offered sure. a chance to be in Star Wars, you'd jump on it? Oh, my God, in a second. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Original screenplay based on um, his basically a fictionalized account of his whole life, but taking into account all of his writings and stories into this fictionalized story. So it's about his writings coming to life and a serial killer being born out of his writings, who's a bit of a copycat murderer to his story. So the Poe begins to dream the killer and the killer is dreaming Poe and it becomes, it's very interesting conceit. She's a tough nut but I do play someone who is buried alive and I had to be buried alive and it was really overwhelming and intense but um, but she's a pretty strong girl. I am Detective Emmett Fields who is a detective on the poli Baltimore Police Force, quite a young detective for his station in that period, 1840s. He goes to a crime scene to investigate a murder. I didn't wear the goatee. I went for. I didn't wear the mustache. I went for the goatee, which he did wear, and he was also clean shaven for a time. So 